just a warm feeling inside for helping out dead toads. A very timely Hong Kong bullet time Matrix reference from Huey in 2016. I knew it. It's the boss. Whoa, the great lucky cat off Kanagawa. Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Paper Mario Color Splash for Wii U. This is part 17, so if you need to, please catch up with any episodes you might have missed so far. Last time, we chased the poisonous boss, Petey Piranha, out of Plum Park. But before we continue our adventure, let's grab Mario's mail. I'm still waiting for a random junk letter or bill to pop up in here. It seems like the type of game to mess with your expectations like that. Master Mario, this is the Dark Blue Inn. We understand you found our purple floral teapot. The manager here has thrown his back out, apologizing to the patrons awaiting their tea party. It would be lovely if you could bring the teapot you found back to our hotel as soon as possible. The Dark Blue Inn. And here's another letter for ya. Oh, it's Luigi. Hey, a big bro. It's a Luigi again. The green plumber guy. Have you heard of this Rochambeau legend called the Rock Paper Wizard? I heard a rumor that if you beat him, you'll win a super rare card. I'd like to see it, so I'll try to win it if you can. Okay. So we'll have to take on those wizards here sometime. We could get Iggy to help us out. But we are going to head back to the inn. We have the, the teapot that the ghosts have been waiting for. Their unfinished business on this earth is to have a tea party. Pretty mild, you know, compared to most vengeful ghosts out there. But we'll be happy to help them out. If you missed the episode with this stage in it, it was part 15. This is a really cool stage. It might be one of my favorites so far. Lots of little sly references to The Shining and... Also, another Stephen King book, It. There was a creature called It running around in this area, so check that out if you haven't. Okay, so the teapot, it was only poisonous because I didn't even realize the pun at the time, but it was P.T. Piranha, like a tea, you know, because he was shaped like a tea bag. My manager went to deal with a customer complaint or something, but he hasn't come out yet. So here is where the ghosts have gathered for their spooky tea party. <laughs> it's just bowing profusely. Uh, could you ask at the front desk if they've come across a teapot with a purple flower pattern on it? So all we have to do is cut this out and pop that thing in there. So between episodes, you know, off camera, I did some some uh, restocking of my cards at the, the card shop. And also, I talked to the ringer and replenished my thing cards because we were missing the plunger, the lemon, and the balloons that summoned Birdo that we just got last time. So I want to get all that stuff back, but we're going to pop the teapot in there, paint it up, and here we go. Hopefully this will make these ghosts happy at long last. Oh, delicious <laughs> red tea. Man, speaking of the shining, a dripping red colored liquid. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Whatever floats their boat, they they got to be happy. Would you care for some tea? There they go. Is that enough? Do you guys feel like you can leave this planet fulfilled? There they go. Aw. Not too often that uh, you're con confronted with death and spirits in a Mario game other than booze, but I'm happy that they're happy, and the manager is too. The hotel, the inn is finally freed of those ghosts, and there they are, aw. The great tea party in the sky. <laughs> they're just chilling in the clouds and relaxing at long last. All right. So, yeah, there's not another mini paint star here. I don't know what the reward is going to be for doing that, other than, you know, just a warm feeling inside for helping out dead toads. But there we go. It's been changed. It's not so dark blue anymore. Mr. Mario, thank you so much for resolving this bizarre conundrum. I am relieved that our six spooky customers were happy in the end. With that, our hotel will finally open its doors for business once again. Please take this as an expression of our gratitude. Oh, oh, okay. So is that Max Cardza? Oh. So I was going to say, I only have 99 cards in my deck max, but I wonder if that might be for cards we can play. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot to do. You're always welcome here at the Dark Blue Inn. Oh, he's so, he's so polite. All right, yeah, now it's all peaceful here and no longer gloomy, but we're going to move on to another sort of gloomy looking stage, Violet Passage. It looks like there's pirates in the port, so we've got to deal with that. I think there's another star at Plum Park, but we might... Come back to that later. Some of them require you to get items from later on, so I think we're going to play the new stage and see if we get anything new that might help us back there. So yeah, this is a lot of the, the stages that are like blue and purple themed seem kind of gloomy and dark, but it could just be the color scheme. So let's see here. What's going on? We got... Oh, what is... <laughs> somebody with a barrel on their head over there. And, uh... Oh, 
There's a pirate toad off in the distance. Mario, look, this is super serious. Uh-oh. Whoa, part of the sea's completely colorless. This is a severe environmental issue. One could even call it a green issue. No, I guess it's more of a blue issue. Oh, forget the sea, we've got a pirate problem. Whoa, okay. Oh. <laughs> um, a very timely Hong Kong bullet time matrix reference from Huey in 2016. Whoa, how did you? Never mind, that's a boat over there. The pirates came out of nowhere. The, the rescue squad tried to help, but well, they're the rescue squad. Oh, jeez. Yeah, these pirates mean business, these little shy guys. They've broken through the barricade. Uh-oh. <laughs> the sea being colorless is kind of worrisome. Let's go check it out. Just a bunch of shy guys, nothing we can't handle. Well, that has me worried, because there's going to be something bigger over there, probably. The rescue squad needs help. Please assist them if you can. Rescue squad, you know, a little more competent than most toads, but not by much. We gotta take that ship back ASAP, and so I'm about to embark on a very important voyage. Hold on a sec, though. I gotta hit these. Here we go. <laughs> Got some hidden cards. Yeah, I really want to get a, uh, a boost to how many cards I can carry, because I'm having some trouble with, uh, you know, there's gotta be a secret to get up there, right? There, there's, uh, there's not too many more that I can collect here without maxing out, because I did restock on some things. The card shop in Port Prisma does not sell... 1-Up Mushrooms to replenish your paint, which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping we could get some from there because I had a little problem during the uh, the PD Piranha boss battle where we ran out of paint. There we go. Got a plunger replica. Can we sneak through here? Hmm. Got to be a secret back here, right? I was going to say, there's got to be a way to get up there, but I'm not going to worry too much about it right now unless we can, like, walk on the fence. I'll come back to that later. It's got to be some way around. First, let's, uh, let's help get this pirate ship back, because these toads are in a bad way here. Here we go. Yeah, trying to hit as many of these as I can as we go through. Yeah, I got so many cards. We should be okay. Hey, little... Oh. <laughs> ah, don't scare me like that. I thought I'd been creamed by a cannonball. You're all right. Just hide behind something solid that can't be smashed by a hammer. Not only did the enemies hijack the ship, they're firing the cannon all willy-nilly. Talk about cheeky. Let's help this little toad over here, because they're in a bad way. Oh, it's a rescue squad member. Thanks for that, Mario. We've gathered the five best yellow rescue squad members for this mission, but right now we're at a stalemate with these guys. I'll keep an eye on the tide of battle from here. You go help the rest of the yellow rescue squad. All right, at ease, soldier. So yeah, we need, I think, 11 of them. He's going to watch the battle. We need 11 of those little guys if we want to pull the turn up in the sacred forest, I think, or sacred woods. One of those. Oh, there's another one over there. Ah, can't grab that. That's okay. We got enough ammunition. I put that barrel on my head to protect me from the cannonballs, but I failed to account for the fact that I wouldn't be able to see. Little tip for you there. <laughs> yeah, we should not hide in a barrel. We are all right. We, you know, we got tons of cards and things to, uh, ooh, I don't know. Maybe we're not all right. This could be black paint as well, so we should look out. It looks stinky, like uh, what happened with the bonsai bill couple episodes back. I wonder if anyone has uh, slowly painted this whole thing. It seems impossible, though, if they don't give you extra blue paint to replenish your supply. You just wouldn't be able to do it. You run out. Man, there's so much stuff I want to grab. Let's first pull this little guy out. Got his head stuck in a barrel. Just as I thought, this barrel is made of paper. My work here is done. <laughs> Great investigation there. Okay. I could probably toss some, some kind of weaker cards. We have to watch them Go all the way in the background. I'm going to get rid of my uh, worn-out jump and worn-out hammer that we picked up because, you know, don't really need those. They're triples, but, you know, we're at the point of the game where the, the more powerful cards are probably going to be enough for us. Uh-oh. Ah. Oi, look who it is, boys. Oh, wait. Well, look who it is, boys. Mr. Big Nose is here to stick his giant spell where it doesn't belong. Buzz off, Mega Schnoz. We're searching for something important on this here ship. Yeah, an important secret about the Violet Isles. Oops, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. No witnesses! Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, unless they've got some leader, we should be okay. Well, there is a lot of them. This would have been a perfect time to have a nice uh, a nice buddy help me out, like a, a paratroopa. Oh, we ha yeah, we can use three cards now, so that's what that was. That is actually very useful, so I'm glad that we went back to the Dark Blue Inn for that, but... I don't know if I'm going to need all three because I do have a hurl hammer. And if we can play this right, there we go. Will that do it? Oh, they're pretty injured, but not quite enough. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they're dogpiling on me. 
Probably should have used my third card, but I think we'll be okay here. Maybe a double hammer will do it. I'm trying to be more conservative with my, my paint and everything. Red just doesn't look color. Because, yeah, we had some issues fighting PD Piranha, running out a little bit. I definitely need to hold on to any one-up mushrooms that I find for boss battles, because these are short enough where if I run out of paint, you know, just grab it from the environment, but... Or from all the dead shot guys. But, yeah, the, the battles with the bosses, like, it's not... Not too easy to replenish in the middle of those. This pathetic weakling bug does to slurp him out of his misery. Your turn to bed, pretty boy. Uh-oh. We got some shield ones, which I think are good against uh, the... Or they might put their shields over them if you jump on them. I can't remember. Let's just try something hefty like a hurl hammer. I've got so many of some some of these cards, so I'm just gonna, gonna throw a few out there and see how we do. I'm trying to be conservative with paint, but, you know, the quicker they're gone, the more we get from these battles, and I think the more stuff drops, because you, if you don't take damage, you get that perfect bonus. There we go. Yeah, the hurl hammer is so good. Hits a bunch of them, and maybe we'll hit another one through. Oh, man, yeah, the shield. Pretty good there. Ah, oh, that one's so much faster. That always throws me off. But yeah, the shield is something that we got to be wary of. I should probably jump on these guys. I bet a nice line jump would be enough to take them out. I'm God. <laughs> taunting me over there. Okay, let's try this out, and I guess I can probably have a, uh, maybe a, a uh, just a normal jump or something as a backup, just because, who knows if these guys are gonna be a little tougher than they seem. If I don't time my line jump right, then I might be in trouble. I'm gonna heal just to be safe. It is weird to look out in the sea, and it's just a, a sea of white, paintless water. There we go. Alright. Oh, okay, that was enough. <laughs> One jump from the line jump. It is much more powerful than the normal one. Reinforced boot. There we go. Let's help this little toad out. How you doing there, buddy? Don't be scared. Oh, well, <laughs> I tapped the, sometimes that happens. I tap the wrong button for the hammer. I hit Y instead of X, but there is something we can get out there. Huh? Uh, I did it, I beat him. Those chumps never stood a chance against me. Oh, I wonder, hmm, we can't sail yet. I almost wonder if that would be something that would use the fan. Because we can cut that out, but I'm, I'm wondering, like, what what card could possibly go in there other than the fan? And we did that before to uh, to power a ship. So, yeah, I don't know if anything else that we have would really help out there. So I'm going to wait on that. Wait until we have this ocean colored, maybe to, uh, to make it a little easier to travel. <laughs> right now, I don't think it would work. Ah, two for the price of one. Oh, so we tried to save the one toad, but got a whole bunch of shy guys for our trouble. Okay, so line jump, ooh. Yeah, line jump's not, I think the hurl hammer is just uh, like a better line jump in a lot of ways. Well, that just doesn't look color. Because otherwise it's like, if you try to do the line jump on something that has a spike like that, then you're in trouble. But most things can't really protect against a hammer, it feels like. The hammer just seems much more powerful. Although jumping, you know, is Mario's big thing that he's known for. The hammer is the classic. Old Faithful. There we go. All right. Yeah, that was perfect. And we, oh, yeah, we got the perfect bonus. I meant it was perfect, and then I got the right amount of cards for that job. Okay. You never think it can happen to you, but here I am being saved by Mario. I'm such a toad. <laughs> yeah, the Rescue Squad, slightly more competent, but they're more on, you know, they're kind of along the lines of a, uh, of maybe the toads in Captain Toad's, you know, Exploration Squad, where a little bit better off than a normal toad, but not quite by much. <laughs> Ah, no one interrupts a good old-fashioned key to Holland without paying the price. Which is another key to Holland. Get him, boys! Oh, jeez. Reinforcements. Waiting on the bow. All right. I'm going to keel haul these dirty scallywags. Let's see. We got, yeah, I keep relying on my... keep relying on my hurl hammer against a lot of them, but maybe we should try something else. But a good jump would, would do well for these guys. And then maybe a fire flower or something to finish them off. Let's try this out. I haven't been using a lot of red paint. Lots of the jumps and things, the be the better jumps use blue paint, like the line jumps. So seems like trying to mix it up a little bit would help out. There we go. Okay, well, I'm going to waste this fire flower a little bit, but that's all right. I bought a bunch of them at the, uh, at the store. Yeah, I don't need to hit that because <laughs> it was still letting me get the combo, but we had him, I think, from the first fireball. All right, that should be it for the whole ship here. Wow, a sweaty palm back and forth on the bowsprit of a ship. 
Now it's just like the movies. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's one. Oh, I knew it. It's the boss. Whoa, he's super quick. Jeez, <laughs> sprinting all over the place. Oh, who's that pirate out there? I want to meet him. Slicing to the mist. Paint will be spilled here today. The shy ninja strikes. Oh, slicing through the mist. That's a haiku. Paint will be spilled here today. Yeah, he's a ninja. I could tell from his movements, but also speaking haikus, as ninjas are wont to do. Oh, it's a stack. Ah, uh, they're trying to fool me here by tricking me into thinking this is just one of them. Hmm, I know all your moves. Maybe a nice e camera would do well, or something that'll hit multiple times. I actually want to try out the spin jump. I have not really got the hang of that yet, and he uses red paint rather than the blue, so let's try this. I have tr troubles with the hop slipper. Whoa, okay. Uh, well, what do we do here? Because we're he's gonna dodge everything. Wasting my cards, you little jerk. Yep, he's just pulling a Huey. Man. Oh, now they're uh, now they're all getting <laughs> unshuffled. What do we do? Hmm. I wonder. I'm gonna have to have to take a mushroom here. Otherwise, we're gonna be in trouble. I know all your moves. What do, what could we use against him? I did. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna summon a spiny. Just see how that goes. And then the fan is tempting. There's a bunch of different cards that could possibly do something. I might try. I've had this lucky cat since the Morton Koopa Jr. battle. You know, way back. Uh, part 9, I think, was when we got this. And I have not tried it yet. So let's see if this does anything against these guys. We can always get more from the ringer if we need it. And maybe the spiny will help me out a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, never mind. Spiny. Good for nothing, little. <laughs> it's okay. He'll live another day. Oh, I think this was in the trailers. Yeah. The most Japanese, there's businessmen making mochi and bowing, and the lucky cat. The great lucky cat off Kanagawa. <laughs> Here it comes, oh, it's rocketing down. There's Uzumaki from Ramen, Nigiri Sushi. Too many Japanese things for me to keep track of. And it's stomping on him. There we go, oh, it's actually working. It's hitting him, he can't dodge the lucky cat. And, oh, they're gone, okay, yeah. I'm glad that that worked and wasn't a waste. Sometimes I use the thing cards and I'm like, well, that didn't work out. We got him. Whoa, that black shy guy was so fast, I couldn't track him with my naked eye. No wonder pirates wear eye patches. You know, so their eyes aren't naked when they fight ninjas. Makes sense. <laughs> it's actually supposed to be so they can have one eye, you know, used to the darkness. It was tough, but we've driven off the hijackers and rescued the rescue squad members. Let's head back to the jetty. So many ship terms here that uh, I know some of them, like the bow sprint. Ah, man, I missed that. Can we climb up that? Nope. That's gonna disappear by the time I get over there. Oh no! Curse this 2D body. We're gonna miss it. Uh, uh, I got some, okay, I got him. All right, jeez, that scared me, but we managed to grab him in time. It's okay, it was mostly just, you know, extra paint for my hammer, but that's what I've been, you know, complaining about. I need to get more of it to be able to uh, do much. Yeah, what could we, well, let's try it since it seems like, or unless it's not letting me do it. Hmm. It definitely seems to be lined up here, so it's a little strange that it's not letting me cut it out. We probably don't have what we need for it. All right. The jetty. I don't know what that is, but I'm kind of guessing it's uh, something to do with the the toads go. I don't know. The, the port area? We'll find out. We'll see if the rescue squad member... Yeah, because we rescued all of them, so ironically... And then they should be all over here waiting. There they are. Is that the last five we need? I can't remember. Uh, Mr. Mario, sir, the ship recovery mission was a huge success. Thanks for your support. Yellow Rescue Squad members six through 10. Now, if you excuse me, I must report to my captain, the Sacred Forest, immediately. So we might have to come back here later, or maybe we unlock something. We'll see, there's some more toads here. Mario, the Red Vest Rescue Squad. <laughs> Thanks to you, we got our precious ship back. Actually, this ship belongs to our captain, and he's currently, uh, way over there. Well, when the pirates attacked, he jumped into a barrel and got marooned in that colorless water. Should have learned from the others. I'm sorry to ask so many favors of you, but please go rescue our captain. Please. I wish we could help, but we can't sail through that colorless water. Unless, if we could track down a big paint star and repaint the sea, we could probably save your captain. Hmm. So we're gonna need the, bl the blue one. They screamed at us. Ah! We'll wait here for you to return. Okay, crew, back to the ship. So yeah, it looks like we are gonna have to return 
to this when we can repaint the ocean. But I kind of expected that. This is way too much paint for us to handle on our own. And uh, I'm guessing we'll probably, you know, have the fan there for that part as well. I'm still wondering about this because it doesn't look like we can break any of this stuff. Look at that one is like dented and I can't get up on there. Hmm, mysterious. Well, for now, let's just head back to the overworld. I hate jumping out of a stage with no paint stars, but it seems like our journey is gonna take us all the way. Oh, oh, we got another hollow peach landing over there. But I do want to go to the uh, the sacred forest because that is where all the Yellow Squad members are meeting up. We could probably check out Plum Park. Maybe since that's going to be a big thing to get that turnip out, let's head back to Plum Park and just see if we can uh, find another star here because it'll probably unlock another area. I have three Rochambeau temples that I have not gone to one of which has a wizard that we could get the Iggy card, so I'm a little, you know, thinking maybe we should try one of those sometime here. It seems that my dark blue inn is in your depth. Uh, thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, he, wait, his dark blue inn? He doesn't own it. That color, I can't, or that, you know, flower, I can't tell. Nope. Now it's all messed up. I was going to say, I couldn't tell if it needed an extra bit of shine there or if it was just looking uh your extra extra bit of paint it just had a shininess wow this is all opened up there's a cautious little toad there i don't blame him yeah i don't we can't build this bridge at least without a bridge builder and there's sniffets all over the place those flowers so they all opened up now that the water is not poisonous anymore and there's no prana plants messing with it and there's got to be something to that i feel like one of these lilies is gonna hold the key to something oh wait Oh, there we go. Weird. The, the first one that I went to. Ah, well, we'll have one battle and then we'll be able to get this. But yeah, the first one that I, I found here was uh, surprisingly the one that we needed. So there we go. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna grab some, some throwaway jumps and see if we can. Sniffets are tougher. It seems like this is a tougher fight than we had at the pirate ship, but there's less of them. So that's not too bad. There we go. If we get enough, ooh, time that badly. Here we go. One more. Yeah. So, excellence. There's 200 you need to get that one banner unfurled in the plaza. I think it's just like an achievement. And I'm at like 140 or something around there. Yeah, there we go. That was that was way too easy. I don't know. I think it was just, you know, look at all the lily, you know, the flowers blooming and, and see whatever flowers those are. Look at all the blooming ones and try to find it. But it, I was not expecting it to be that easy. We didn't really look too much in the stage to get the other paint star. It'll probably link us back to, yeah, I was gonna say, a stage that we've already been to, but it's nice to have the interconnected web of the map. We can now cut back to poor Prisma quite a bit easier than before. Okay, so yeah, look at this place, so many areas. I wanna see what the hollow peach is up to here at the Mustard Cafe. This is another one that I'm like, we're gonna have to get the, uh, the orange paint star, I'm guessing, for this. I thought it might be yellow, cause you know, Looks like a yellow stage, but we did not fill in the desert yet. So let's see, where is that hollow peach? Yeah, obviously <laughs> the desert is still having some issues here. Where is the hollow peach? It's got to be somewhere. It's kind of small, so it's hard to hard to uh, find sometimes. Look, man, I'm on vacation. No, I don't sign autographs. I'm going to go over here and paint this one spot. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty good uh, four and out jump five. I think that's the first one we've ever gotten. So that was a decent reward, but yeah, this is another one that you could sit here all the live long day trying to paint that in. That's not even the right color. Yeah, weird. What is, why is that spot like purple? Hmm, kind of, kind of strange there. So let's see, is Hollow Peach hiding up here? Because otherwise, oh, there it is. Okay, let's grab this one. See if we can get an update. Maybe Peach will point us in the right direction. Well, we are headed towards the forest. I'm just trying to do some odds and ends to finish the episode up here and then we'll head there next time to start that stage. Mario, I want to tell you what I've seen. I was taken off the ship and led down a long hallway. There's no doubt about it. I'm inside Bowser's castle, but I don't really understand how that's possible or where the castle is located. We seem to be surrounded by fog or clouds. Regardless, I am unharmed. You may consider this hollow peach proof of life. <laughs> I've no doubt that you'll rescue me, Mario. Please hurry. Love, Peach. Oh, she does love us. <laughs> See, we had some doubts, but... Seems like she uh, she does care for Mario. So yeah, this cafe, not gonna open up until that very lazy toad. Well, he's on vacation, I'm sure he works hard and he deserves a break every once in a while. 
But there we go. I think we're going to finish up by uh, that one paint. It's flashing out of existence. You can't exit a stage if you don't have any any stars from it. Like, by hitting start, you have to go to the course exit, which is kind of kind of interesting. Okay. So there we go. I think we are going to finish up by... Oh, oh no! Well, we're going to have to do this because otherwise he is going to take all of my paint. Okay. Go, go, go! Yeah, we got to catch him before he can slurp all of the paint out of Kiwano Temple. I don't even know what happens if that has, you know, comes to be because that would be horrible. We'd have to go back through and paint it all again, I guess. Oh, there we go. All right, you're not hurting me. Let's see, what would be good against this guy? Something that hits a bunch of times, like a hop slip or something like that. Let's just do a bunch of bunch of hop slippers and see how that goes. You'll never take me alive. We beat you before, and we could even summon you to fight yourself if we have to, but I don't think it's going to come to that. I think we should be okay. And there we go. Yeah, the timing, a little tricky on this, but I definitely have that down better than the e-camera. Ooh, sometimes, though, that happens. There we go. Yeah, this should be more than enough. <laughs> Jeez. It just makes Mario seem kind of cruel. He's like, no, get out of here. Don't you sip my paint. There we are. He's gone, and it's been restored. Speaking of other stars we could get, there is another one in the temple here. Maybe rather than bother with the Rochambeau temples, I'll just do that. We'll, we'll jump ahead to the, uh, the last part of the temple, because I think a few of you noticed that we could grab the, the red paint star. Making my way through the level, and we maxed out to 320 now. Go, go, go. All right, as long as there's no big spinies here, we should be able to jump on this, and that will lower down, and... Ha-ha! Semi-secret red mini paint star. There we are, okay. Yeah, that level's pretty tough to get through with all the spikes and everything, but I made it through and got a little bit more paint for my troubles as well. Let's see what this unlocks. Jeez. I spent hundreds on getting those things replenished, but we get it back so quickly here that it feels like not even a dent in Mario's coffers. There we go. Oh, ah, oh, a new stage as well as a hollow peach. So that definitely was worth going back for. There's still a third one in there somewhere. I almost wonder if it has to do with the broken train tracks. So there we go. Got all the colorless spots as well. So, Red Pepper Volcano, we can head there. I think I might head to Sacred Forest next time, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you then for more Color Splash. Goodbye.